Welcome to another GA Canine Training video, folks. And today we're featuring Young Valiant working an urban track. And um, I, I kind of want to describe some of the things that are occurring here that really are a good uh, description of the differences between tracking and trailing. So our trail layer actually went out on the grass here a little bit, then turned around and came back, and then actually started working along the curb line here. And you can watch how Valiant is working this odor, this scent picture. Um, it's very strong on the more productive source, which is the vegetation and on the edges and the barriers. Now there is some on the ground as well, but it's not quite as strong. And this is what happens on sunny, warm days. That cement just not going to hold odor quite as well as uh, the productive source next to it would be. So it's one of the differences in trailing and tracking is, is that a trailing dog is allowed to follow the odor wherever it might go. Now with a human, we're dealing with several different types of odor. We have ground disturbance, we have contact odor. This is by the hands and the other body parts. Uh, and then we also have blown human odor, which is made up of gases and also skin cells. These things hit the ground and move with whatever environmental conditions might move them. So a trailing dog is going to be following all the different odors going back and forth seamlessly from ground yeah. disturbance scent to blown human odor to contact odor, whatever avails itself to the dog is what the dog will use. Uh, and this is a perfect example of that happening with Valiant. We're about to come up to an intersection here, and this is where we have wind blowing from the right to the left, and the track line is on the cement line. And what you're gonna notice is, is Valiant hits this intersection and then goes very wide. This is because of the way the wind blows that human odor on the hard surface. It's very much like frost dust on a very, very cold road in the middle of a snowstorm. You can see how the snow has a tendency to drift along the highway. Well, the same yeah. thing happens with skin cells and the gases off-gassing from the human body. So with the wind, Valiant followed that scent to the left. And then here, our trail layer is also on the grass. And you can see how that wind-blown odor is pulling out into the alleyway odor, right? and then onto the pavement. The track line is actually on the grass to the right. But look how she's working this. The scent picture is all the way up against the edge of the building here. She's obviously an odor, really, really working it quite well. Now she gets right on top of the track line that goes across the sidewalk. And we get into what we call the proximity alert. And with that proximity alert is a very large scent pool. The scent pool is getting bigger and bigger the longer somebody is in one place. And in this situation, the wind is slightly from the left to the right, going across the parking lot. And you can see how the dog works the edge of the scent pool until she hits the scent cone. The scent cone is coming right here, okay? So the predominant wind is creating the pool that's filling the parking lot. The dog works the edge of the pool until they get the scent cone, and that's how they get in. This is kind of the big difference between tracking and trailing. With trailing, the dog is allowed to follow any type of odor that presents itself. Uh, and is not having to stay right on top of that track line because nice. in the natural world in a particular in an urban environment that track line simply disappears quite a bit especially on hard surfaces and bad conditions